Franz Schubert? The great composer? Dummkopf! Who was you expecting, maybe? Padrovsky? Every time I come back to finish my symphony, I'm interrupted. So you can finish your symphony. Ah, now that the silence is more quiet, I start to commence again. Schieß und Dreckes! Somebody stop that racket before my head blows off the top of my noodle! finish.
What means retrieve? You dumb mutt, bring back the duck! A fish? You dope! I ought to send you to the dog pound! My gun! Here, Bush! I did not go to college to play football. Fido Beta Kappa and Summa Cum Laude. What's that? That means with highest honors. All right, big brain. I got a simple test for you. Retrieve this stick. Why, your stick is obsolete. Try mine, modern and scientific. OK, smarty, retrieve it. Well, retrieve it! Your stick is retrieved. Now, let's see what you've learned about being a watchdog. Sir, they do not call me Martin Canine for naught. If anything is stolen, I'll hold you responsible. Martin Canine. Just as I thought. Now to teach that smart aleck a lesson. You were clever, Rapples. But not clever enough for Scotland Yard. And now, sir, I shall give you a lesson in duck hunting. Bah! You can't hunt in this heavy fog. Ah, but in college, I've learned scientific methods. This tuning fork vibrates to the air disturbances created by ducks in flight. Observe the vibrations. They indicate a flock of ducks three miles away. They are now directly overhead. Shoot now! Ah, you and your education. According to meteorological statistics, each year 408 people are killed by lightning. We'd better hurry home, sir. Hey, why 
wise guy. Trying to kill yourself? Lightning never strikes twice in the same place. Beat it! He hasn't been wrong yet. Lightning struck twice in the same place. Hmm, I shall speak to my professor about that. Fried eggs better than nothing. Fried chicken, after all. Oh, please, sir. You wouldn't eat poor little defenseless me, would you? goes for this phony wine. <laughs> oh my, what a great big juicy worm. All for little me. I'm all alone in this whole wide world. I wish I had a playmate. My, what a pretty birdie. Hello, birdie. Will you play with me?
right over there is a nice big fat chicken. Now that's a chicken. Magic pills. Just leave this to me. Oh, Casper, if you can get me some magic reducing pills, I'll stay home and try to lose this fat. Why, sure, Fatso. Here you are, Fatso. But be careful. The witch has said it was strong stuff. I'll go finish my book. Magic reducing pills. Good for only a few hours. Okay, Fatso, take a pill and see what happens. Perfect. Now for us. Little friend, come and get it. <laughs> so, this is what you wanted the reducing pills for. Sure. And now we're off for a scare scoop in a new wild. What new world? The insect wild. Your book gave us the idea. And the pills you got them the rest. I hope they didn't finish all those pills. Lucky they left a few. <laughs> now to find those meanies and see if I can reason with them. Oops, I'm in a tunnel. <laughs> it's only a tomato can. I wonder which way they went. Oops. Shucks, I spilled a buttercup. Help, help, uh-oh, help, ghost. Only mean ghosts could make a snail go at that pace. <laughs> a ghost, what does call you, sayonara? Ha, <laughs> a Japanese beetle. <laughs> now, to see what I can do to stop them. Oops. A ghost! Please, Mr. Ant, I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. Friendly ghost? Ha! Well, we certainly can't say that about the others. I know, fellas, and I'm here to try and stop them. Gosh, we hope you can. Then you'll have nothing to fear. Nothing but the will of the wisp. The will of the wisp? Yeah, he's fearful to look at. Can you tell me where to find him? He lives in the moon marsh, Casper, but remember, he's real scary. Thanks, fellas. I'll try not to be too scared. Moon Marsh. If I want to stop the ghostly trio, I'll need someone who's scarier than they are. Mr. Will of the West! Who dares to awaken me at this unearthly time? Gosh, he must be asleep in that old log. Excuse me, Mr. Will of the Wisp, but I have a very important matter to discuss with you. Come in, come in. Golly, Mr. Will of the Wisp. I had no idea you'd look as you do. <laughs> what did you expect me to look like? A ghost? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, you see, I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. But just listen to this. Why, I'm supposed to be the scary one in the insect world. <laughs> Put my plan into motion. Say, why don't you pick on someone your own size? Who said that? A friend of Will of the Wisp. Will of the Wisp? Who's he? Let him show his face. Sorry, 
He only shows his face at Moon Marsh. Well, let's find him. Will it a wisp? We're waiting for you. Come out, come out, wherever you want. What's that? <laughs> I am Will of the Weasp. Let's grab him. I'll do more than let you get your hands on me. I'll get the real chummy, see? Get him out of me, fellas. Okay, fatso, just hold still. <laughs> now he's in me. <laughs> now he's in me. <laughs> he's here again. <laughs> <laughs> We're back to normal size. And so am I. Shucks. Did he make us look like fools? Yeah. We were punching ourselves silly. I better get back before they do. Well, I see you boys decided to grow up after all. And uh, by the way, how was Insect Land? You and your books. <laughs> <laughs>